beautiful compact 8K laser projector. You might think that you don't have 4K source also and why do I use this 8K, 8K projector but Hi friends, this is your Magesh, your AV consultant and today we are with a beautiful projector and this is gonna be a talk of the town in coming future. This is the world's first 8K residential projector and this is called JVC NZ9 and this is a compact projector that can do 8K E-Shift X. So there's three models in this. This is NZ7, NZ8 and NZ9 in JVC where the NZ7 is called a 8K E-Shift whereas NZ9 and uh, 8 is called a E-Shift X. E-Shift X is a four directional kind of uh, electronic shifting which can do a resolution almost equal to a 8K native projector whereas 8K E-Shift is a two-dimensional electronic shifting which can upscale the 4k native to uh, 8k but not as close as the nz8 and 9 so this is a flagship kind of model which we have got in our uh, hands so this is nz9 let's unbox it right now so finally we have unboxed the projector and uh, what we have seen in this projector is a uh, uh, we've got three power cords in this projector along with a remote and we've got a manual as well so this manual has been a printout handout for the uh, jvc nz9 uh, so this is in different languages that i can see and uh, this comes with a full set of all the projectors it has got nz 7 8 9 including the np5 which is the low end of jvc so which we will see is shortly and let's open up this cover as well finally we have unboxed this projector and i see a beautiful compact 8k laser projector and this is a blue ascent laser technology projector where it works for 20,000 hours it's a laser laser technology so there is no lamp in it so it's purely a maintenance free projector so you can use it like a tv there's no limitation to the watching hours it doesn't get heated up massively like the lamp based projector so this is so friendly user friendly i can say and it can be installed in a, a beautiful way where for installing this please note that the regular brackets are not good enough we'll have to use the specialized brackets to install this projector because this is a massive projector in terms of its weight it's almost 25 kgs in weight and this is gonna be so massive to be installed in a regular bracket you'll have to use a specialized high a uh, high weighing you know kind of bracket this has got a high dynamic range of contrast ratio and high brightness this can generate high brightness so hdr plus is possible with this projector and when you know the difference between hdr and hdr plus hdr plus is basically the image it takes the metadata of the image and it does the dynamically adjusts the con contrast ratio this has got one lakh is to one contrast ratio which is very high so far seen in jvc projectors especially in the laser category and the important feature of this projector i see the lens the build up of the lens so this is a purely a glass based lens this is a 18 group lens you know a kind of thing with 16 glass elements arranged in a proper fashion so that the light output is projected from the uh, chip you know this is a three chip projector so the light output is projected onto this 18 glass segments and 16 glasses are there so you get a beautiful rendering of the colors which is not possible without having a glass made lenses so this projector has got a beautiful features in the in its portfolio where you know none of the other projectors in the series has got it especially on coming about talking about the lens this is a 100 mm dial lens so the other projectors of jvc that is nz7 is a 65 mm kind of uh, lens tag. so the more the aperture more the brightness more the contrast ratio more the illumination and more the clarity that is what we are expecting more the quality kind of projector so this is the quality projector that is available in the market and talking about the front panel of this projector this has got an ir sensor in the front side plus a beautiful lens and it comes with a lens cap as well which I, which we have just removed and it comes with a vents in the front so it's easy to install you know with a having a, a beautiful home theater hanging this projector you know in middle of the home theater it looks very awkward so you can just push it it's got a wide 1.35 to 2.37 kind of a throw ratio where you can just put it at the very back end of the 
theater and you can just socket mount it also because the vents are in the front side so there's no problem with the ventilation kind of things plus this has got the hdr you know uh, hdr 10 plus it supports so it is unlike the other projector which just which just can do hdr 10 so in hdr 10 plus it just reads the metadata and it gives you a beautiful colors rendering and that is what we are expecting from jvc it has to have the high dark levels you know the dark levels are anyways better in jvc as we know but along with the darkness the color is also very important and contrast ratio is also very important and it can do a 3000 lumens of brightness which is very unique in jvc usually in other jvc projectors we will see we have seen that it can just do around 1200 to 1800 lumens but this is capable of doing 3000 lumens which is which can which is in fact a thing which is a to celebrate where we can go wide in terms of screen so which is very unusual and as a isf calibrator myself it's a celebration for me because in earlier days we used to use two projectors do edge blending to get a beautiful image and to achieve that contrast ratio dynamic contrast ratio or ANSI contrast ratio i could say but this is capable of delivering that by default and talking about this physical attributes at the back side it's so heavy to rotate so if you see the rear panel of this projector we've got two hdmi ports so one hdmi 1 and hdmi 2 so both the ports are basically hdcp 2.3 version so which means it is tightly encrypted for the cube or ufo kind of servers for the movie servers and uh, the version if you talk about the hdmi version it is 2.1 version which means it can accept the 8k resolution which is unlike any other projectors where we just see 1.4 and 2.0 which cannot support the 8k kind of resolution but this can do it and for that please note that you need to have a 2.1 version hdmi cables as well or else it's not possible to handshake with the 2.1 port and it is of course the down compatible with the rest of the hdmi as well but the but in case you need to watch a 8k resolution you need to have a 8k cable which is a 2.1 version and 2.1 port is there and a ps5 or xbox has got that kind of a resolution and you can use it and you can happily play play along with it gaming is one of the prime application of this simulation gaming and all and also uh, movies with 4k and full hd also can be upscaled with this projector with just switching on the 8k e-shape button in the settings the next part of the connector this is rs232 which is for the control systems and automation this is a pure service port for a firmware version so please do not plug in any uh, pen drives into it or else this the motherboard gets corrupted and it goes to a factory reset settings so this is used mostly for the automation peer relevant and also isf calibration people and this is finally the trigger output which is used to trigger the uh, screen for the motorized student the screen to come down drop down and all the hard buttons which are right here uh, in case you uh, you lost your remote or the remote is very far away and this is a ir sensor which is at the back side so you do not have the ir cable just hanging around in the front front edge of the projector in aesthetic fashion so we can just put it at the back and we can just hide the cable and finally coming to the last connector this is a 3d synchro for connecting the 3d emitter so this is one of the beautiful features one of the uh, very unique features that 8k projectors of uh, jvc has got it so we can just connect a 3d emitter and we can just wear 3d glasses and we can we can just watch a 3d movie so this is one of the beautiful feature and finally the power cable the power cable so power socket is given in a very niche at the top side you can see a jvc logo on top of it and then a hdr logo and then a thx 4k display so this is meeting the thx standards and that is what it reveals we have a very important logo over here which is isf which means a uh, image science foundation imaging science foundation which is uh, developed by joel silver and this is very important to us because as a calibrators we like to have the projectors reproducing the exact color matching and grayscale readings on the screen finally we have talked about this projector now how to use and where to use this projector because we have seen many projectors in the market and we are also confused which projector to use where so i will just help you where to use what projectors basically you can see 4k projectors 4k projectors 4k projectors being talked all over the space all of the market but the real 4k projectors are the 4k projector which starts anything not less than 4 lakh rupees and the native 4k uh, sorry the 
8K e-ship projectors are the projector which starts from 13 lakh onwards. And this projector is used in houses where you need the real 8K image quality and high brightness is expected and you are the top edge of this technology in the current trending market. And uh, you, you might think that you don't have 4K source also and why do I use this 8K, 8K projector? But of course you have of 8K e-shift source that is 8K e-shift or 4K 120p is also the same thing and 8K basically it works at 8K at 60p whereas 4K it works at 120p which means the frame rate is so high that the gaming is the market for this projector and you can use this gaming and provided you use the right cable also HDMI 2.1 is a version please note it so that you purchase HDMI 2.1 based sources hdmi 2.1 basis cables and as well as the device that is a output device that is projector so everything is matching and handshaking and hdcps are handshaked and eda edid which is the most important handshaking things for the projector to the source is done properly and you get the image onto the highest resolution that is possible and you can enjoy the image to the ultimate so at the end of the day Getting the ultimate image as per the director's intent is what is very important and JVC NZ9 can do this job very easy for you. Today we have seen this JVC NZ9 projector so next video we'll see the calibration ISF calibration that I'll do with this projector and let's see what it can do and how it can perform in real conditions in the environment that it is, it is designated for. So till then like share and subscribe to the channel i am magesh your av consultant bringing you with the new technology products for you so keep sharing this to all your technology freaks who are out there waiting for such kind of for new product launches so till then signing off your magesh your av consultant thank you if you like watching this video then please like share and subscribe to our channel so that you get notified when we upload a new video thanks for watching bye